12,000 souls are on the borders of these high Alps. We are just 10 kilometers from the Italian border. Since the beginning of 2017, this ski resort has become one of the privileged gateways to the migratory flow into France. To meet the emergency needs, the town hall has made premises available to a network of volunteers anxious to help newcomers. The purpose of this place is to create a starting point for the arrival of young Africans in France to be able to rest and set up a project for their future in the country. It is important to emphasize that the building was made available by the municipality. However, all that is necessary for the operation of this place is completely voluntary. And uh, how are you able to get them here? Often exhausted, they are cold. They are not well dressed, they are hungry, they are sleepy and want rest. They often go for coffee and then go to bed. I arrived yesterday at 10 p.m. in France. I was very scared, my brother. The roads here are trapped and very narrow. Also, the hills are high. When you climb the stairs, you slip and fall. You risk death. So, all that is scary. It's very scary. With the reinforcement of the controls in the Royal Valley in the Maritimes areas, it is now here at the pass of the scale that the migrants across the Franco-Italian borders. Since this summer, dozens have tried their luck every day to escape the vigilance of the police. They often venture on these roads and still pass at night, thereby risking their lives. Last August, for example, two young people were seriously injured right here after a fall as they fled after seeing a police vehicle. With the wind approaching, crossing the border, that will become more and more dangerous and many fear new tragedies. The roads are on the hills, but be careful. If the police pick you up, they will turn you in. I was lucky I did not see the police. We give them a bit of information on their right to asylum, and for the minors, we explain to them a little bit how things work in France. What is the general age of those who arrive here? There are many minors, about 60% of them. This is quite worrying. It is pointed out to the department that there are minors who are isolated and need to be taken care of. We send emails to the departmental cell, which is responsible for dealing with minors. Before going to the GAP Council Department, we went to Lyon, where we met a lawyer specialized in the rights of minors, who agreed to speak with us. When we look at the common law of minors, we must consider that an isolated minor, without a legal guardian, is in danger. There are services in all the departments already created to accommodate these minors because they are foreigners. The foreign minors are finally excluded from the common law system of child protection. From their arrival on the French territory, they are deemed as minors who are isolated. In general, they are directed towards the departments in a specific sector, which receive foreign unaccompanied minors, which in turn evaluates their situation. One might think it's an evaluation of their situation, but clearly, in fact, it's an evaluation of their status. For the region of the Haute Alps, it is therefore the General Council base in GAP which is in charge of unaccompanied minors. There are people from the social services who are used to that sort of thing. They try to trace the young person's background to determine whether he or she is an adult or a minor based on what he or she could have done before. The school of minors are really isolated. If that minor doesn't have a family to assess if their communication is coherent, and at the end of these evaluations, he's either declared a minor or an adult. If he's declared a minor, he's handed over to the authorities, who transfer them on to France. I do not have the criteria. If he's declared an adult, he's handed over to the authorities for expulsion, as the law provides. Now that the prosecution officer nor the department has agreed to answer our questions.
I am Sylvie, volunteer with the group Assistance for Young Migrants of GAP. We are in a place which is called the Saint André Parish. Here, we bring together young people who have been recognized in their minority by the Departmental Council of the High Alps. Then, as a result of this, the minority is sent as a platform to Paris, which redispatches youth to different regions. Most of our young people are sent to Bouche du Rhône. Knowing that the department of Bouche du Rhône is saturated and that there is no place for the host. I, for example, I am a recognized minor in France and I have not been housed yet. I have my OPP. I was told that they are going to put me in a place. Since I had my OPP, it is a month and two weeks now, and I'm yet to be housed. There are many, I'm not alone, but all of a sudden, would like to be housed. Do some trace or continue our studies, but without having been housed first, there's nothing we can do. And suddenly, they have said that they will call us as soon as they are places. And it is a month and two weeks today. We have not been called. They called the lawyer also. But the last time he left, he told us not to be discouraged and pray to God. When a lawyer comes to tell us to pray to God, well, it is in despair, I say. We also have the demobilized youth, that is to say that the elements provided do not allow them to be confirmed in their minority. Therefore, they are demobilized. Some have documents on them, bad documents, criminal record documents, but unfortunately they do not really account for this purpose, because by default they feel that these documents are false. From the moment an individual is on the French territory and says he or she is a minor, it must be considered so. There are different assumptions, for example, the assumption where the minor is in possession of a birth certificate. There should be no suspicion as regards this document, except with facts that this is what is really happening. Agnes Antoni is part of these many activists who have chosen to accommodate some of these refugees loitering the streets. Among the refugees hosted by Agnes, three of them arrive in June in dire conditions. It is here at the hills that a small village within the high Alps of 160 inhabitants elected me to be the head. I am the municipal councillor and my commitment is to be an A to Z citizen or an A to Z activist. They have said that I am not a minor and that I am a beneficiary. I have all shown A. I have all my papers here. Because after returning here, I called my brothers in Guinea to send my papers, my exact place of birth, but they have not yet agreed here. It's the kids who suffer from where they reside. It is a policy by the state. Combat the mafia systems. It sells human flesh. The Ashos countered it by putting in place homes to these migrants. It should not be the host. We created all these. We should not stop appealing for help. The problem is that there is no immediate solution to this problem, which is in fact a humanitarian emergency. It created tensions just like it was in Calais, as it is everywhere in the Chapelle in Paris, etc. We let people settle in the streets.
There are many cases as mine. There are many isolated youths who sleep on the road. They no longer have hopes. They live here. They are here in France. If they do not get help from us, then our lives are in danger. We do not know what to do. There is no hope. With all the suffering that we experience while in Africa, especially in Guinea, it was horrible. Here again, we always experience the same problem. En Guinée, en Afrique, c'était de merde. Ici encore, on voit toujours la même merde. Obaidu appealed to the children court in November 2017, but he's still waiting for the response. In the Hot Alps region, almost 1,100 youths who have been assessed since the beginning of the year in 2017, about 40% just like Obaidu, are still hopeless. Despite this appeal, some who have been deported still choose to go to other cities to try their luck in life. Some still go to France and other parts of Europe. The commitment by these volunteers has always been persistence with no compensation to us unmeasurable humility.